Welcome back. It is time to look at what's trending on these digital streets and helping me to unpack it all is the comedian Chloe Hilliard. Let's kick things off, Chloe. It's good to see you with this viral square off. Yeah, you know, you're the perfect person to talk to about this stuff. There was a, a, a kind of square off between a boxing champion, Floyd Mayweather, and a YouTube star, Jake Paul. On Thursday, while promoting Logan Paul's upcoming pay-per-view fight with Mayweather, Jake, Logan's brother, decided he wanted to get his soul snatched, and he swiped Mayweather's white baseball cap right off his head. Needless to say, Floyd didn't find it nearly as funny as he did, and some blows were exchanged. Now, according to reports, Jake was upset by remarks made by Floyd, calling him and his brother fake fighters. What do you make of this story? Uh, this is a hate crime, Mark. You know better than to snatch a black man's hat <laughs> off, especially when he don't have a sharp lineup. That's a hate crime. You can't expose that hairline like that to the world. That's a solid point. And Floyd, you know, as rich as Floyd is, man, I, I have some, 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 some follicle questions for him. I mean, it seems like he decided to go a whole different route. He was rocking the baldy for a long time. Now he's doing something a little different, almost like he took the underarm hair and put it on his head or something. What's that about? Is that like a midlife crisis? Yeah. I, oh, definitely. You know, he's 44, so he's creeping up into that old man age, you know, like when you start to let things sag a little bit. You know, he's giving me very much like Richard Williams, like very scruffy. I'm from the streets and I could fight, but I'm still got a little bit of arthritis. I was <laughs> I was with you till you said 44 is getting to old man age. So I'm only I'm 42. So we go, we're going to strike that from the record. Let's move on to another story, something to keep us peaceful. Let's let's take a look at a story about this. Chloe, is this a case of a rapper jacking a rapper thinking he was going to get away with it? Or is this somebody who saw somebody get hot and now thinks he's the reason for it and he's wrong? Well, I think it's really hard because a lot of times you have so many artists who are just putting their life's work out here on social media and no one knows if they heard it before, if they didn't hear it. And a lot of times these things seep into the back of our mind, right? And so I don't believe that Childish Gambino, who is so busy right in Atlanta, starring in Atlanta and doing all these other things, was scouring SoundCloud in 2016 to find a song that he could rip off. But that doesn't mean that somebody in his camp, maybe a producer or a PA or someone didn't hear it and maybe use it as a reference. So it's going to be hard to hold it up in court because honestly, all these songs sound alike. I was about to say, I can't tell one song from the next any, anyway. It all sounds like one long strip club mixtape, most of it. And in this case, you know, sometimes you get an artist who thinks, you know, that the artist who got big stole their work because they have one thing in common. Like my, my song say America, his song say America it must be the same song. And for me, it's like, come on, bro. If he did jack his stuff, I, I do want him to get his money. I'm not saying I'm not saying the kid is lying. I'm saying if he is, I hope he doesn't get justice. Or I, I hope uh, Childish gets justice. If he doesn't, then I hope he gets justice, man. So we got to sort this thing out. Anyway, on well, Tuesday, the biggest thing I told you all about. The oh, story is the biggest thing. No, I'm saying the story is the biggest thing, right? Even if it doesn't go to court, now we're talking about this kid we have never heard of before. So he's already won. He's won the public relations lotto. I guess. I already forgot his name, to tell you the truth, <laughs> but that's just me. <laughs> anyway, earlier this week, we were talking about all around the world, we were talking about Will Smith showing off his pandemic body and admitting that he's in the worst shape of his life. Well, his actions did more than just land him a new deal uh, with YouTube for a streaming series. It also empowered other men to live in their truth. Several other male celebs are now showing off their not-so-fit bods, including Marlon Wayans, Anthony Anderson, and many more. Smith is even reposting some of these celebs as part of a hashtag called the Big Willie Challenge. Is this body positivity? Is this, should we be excited and proud of what we're seeing on these internet streets right now, Chloe? I think it's so interesting how all these men got butt booty naked because they wanted to be with the Fresh Prince, <laughs> right? They're always talking about women being naked because we want to have hot girl summer or body positivity. And now we got to deal with dad bod summer because Will Smith is getting paid to lose weight by YouTube. I like that. Dad bod Summer. It's going to be crazy in these dad bod streets. You're going to see guts. You're going to see wrinkles. You're going to see stretch marks. You're going to see all the stuff. 
look out for it. Anyway, Chloe, thank you for hanging with me tonight. You got to come back again. We got so much more to talk about in these digital streets. Everybody stay with me here on Black News Tonight. We got a little bit more before I let you go.